Hey guys, and welcome back to Them and Us. When we last left off, we had found some new keys. In fact, we have a couple of doors that we need to start exploring. So, let's go and do just that. Now, what do we have actually on us? We don't need you. We probably don't need the crossbow at this point. Um... But that's fine. We'll, we'll cross that bridge <laughs> when we come to it. So we need to go all the way back to the other side of the mansion. And we've got some interesting lore coming up as well. Now, unfortunately, this mansion is a little bit too big. <laughs> um, oh, man. So we have to go. Yeah, we've got to go all the way back through. There is such an impressive amount of backtracking in this game. It's it's almost insane. Now, I do like the way there's lots of little, uh, you know, um, shortcuts and things that you can open up. But, you know, they're, they're not just nice to haves. They're literally required when you think about it, to be honest. But uh, that's fine. We are getting to the point where we're almost done with the mansion now. Which is a shame. Because I like the mansion. Now this is... Okay, so I'm having issues here. And I'm a tiny bit concerned, to be honest with you. That uh, I have cock-blocked myself a little bit. See this guy here? I actually need to kill this guy. So, what's the problem? Well, the problem, dear viewer, is when I actually go down to fight him, he's not there. And I, I can't find anything about this bug. So, I'm hoping maybe with a few cheeky little shots here and there, we can... Possibly take him out, maybe? But unfortunately, he's absolutely essential to kill. Now, I'm wondering if I can kill him here. Because he's going to drop an item later. So maybe we should grab up some more handgun bullets. Yeah, he actually drops an item that we, we need. Um, but, like I said, although he is here... I'm really struggling to get him to spawn where we actually need to go down and fight him. I don't know why I didn't have this problem the other day when I was uh, recording and practicing and learning the ropes. But since I've gone back for a refresher course, I'm struggling here. So we're going to at some point come out into this courtyard. Now he's carrying a very important key item. Which I actually really need. Come on, buddy. Don't go too far away because then I can't hit you. Alright, you've got to work with me here, brother. Alright, he's dead. There we go. You can see he's glowing. He's dropped the item that we need. There is another guy down there. But we don't actually have to kill him. But we can kill that crow whilst we're here. So that should, in theory, because he's dead, in theory, the item should just be there where we need it to be. But, uh, yeah, for whatever reason, he just doesn't exist. Which is a very annoying bug because, I'm going to be honest, guys, uh, that's, that, that's a serious roadblock. Anyway... Worker Diary. September 14th, 1973. The master has picked out a new location for us to begin our lives anew. A large, sprawling estate featuring a luxury-sized mansion on a remote island. I, uh, no longer will we be living in squalor, hiding in secret amongst public scrutiny. He says the place will be protected. We will be uh, 
it will be the beginning of a new era. We can work towards a new future undisturbed. But much work has yet to be done before it is ready to be moved into. He has asked a small group of his most loyal followers with electrical experience to begin renovating the mansion. His requests are very odd. He wants to strip out all of the electrical wiring and light lighting from inside the mansion, but do so in a way that still allows the exterior lights to work. Hmm. So that's why they removed all of that. And I'm guessing retooled it to use gas? That's... Wait, I'm confused. So, they've stripped all the wiring out of the mansion. But does that mean they still leave the, the electric lights outside? I'm not sure. Uh, this has proven to be much more arduous work than we were prepared for. This mansion is truly massive. It is. And with a group of only four people, we've had to work back-breaking 12-hour shifts just to make sure we complete the projects on time. So far, we're about halfway done gutting all of the electrical components for the interior. Feels like we'll never be done with this, but the master assures us our work will be rewarded. I trust him with my life and therefore will continue regardless of how hard the work is. Finally, we have removed all instances of electrical lights and wiring from the inside of the mansion. A monumental feat. So, yeah, just inside. I took a boat back to the mainland in order to contact the master by phone and tell him we are ready to come back to him. It was then he informed us a shipment of paintings would be arriving to the island shortly and we were instructed to hang up these various portraits of him in place of the normal paintings that were strewn about the mansion. I actually quite like the artwork I found here. The previous owners had good taste in painting, paintings. The last thing any of us wanted to do is to go back and do any more work on the mansion. We are exhausted and sore, but we swore to obey the master. We will do as he asks. Oh, so the master is uh, working these guys to the bone. Not great, but to be expected for an evil McEvil guy. So we've got another hanger magazine. We'll take you. And the Vesta key. Very nice. Okay. So we still have electrical lighting outside. Uh, you know, how long did it take them to strip out four people to strip out all of the... So they started on September the 14th. So they did that. They did that in 10 days. They were, Four people removed all the electrical lighting. Curious. What I like, actually, is you can see all the original lights that were still here, but they're just off. Nice little bit of detail. Nice little bit of detail. Only lit by candles. I can appreciate that. Now, ooh, hello. Shakespeare. What have we got? We've got some ointment. A pet collar. Yumi. It has a name on it. Yeah, so it does. Old clothes. So, I wonder what happened to the previous occupants of this place. Kid drawing. Me. There's a little girl conjuring magic there by the look of things. Mummy. Grandpa. Papa. Looks like it's out in the grounds. Yumi, the dog. We also have a sad sun and a happy moon. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Curious. Very curious. Right, well, now, let's keep this pie wagon moving. More doors to check. Always more doors to check. Although we are slowly, very, very, very slowly, getting through the uh, entirety of the mansion here. The Vesta key. We still haven't found the sun key. Oh, hello, Zed. See if we can't take this guy out as quick as we can. Uh, see, unfortunately, that didn't go too well. I usually got a head pop on him. 
Right, we've got some more bowgun rounds, which is very, very nice. And we have... Come on. Come on. Come on, you can get it. There we go, bolt cutters. We're going to be needing those. I think that's all that's here. Now, the guide references there being handgun ammo in here, but not that I can tell. But whatever. All right, so how are we doing? So now we need to go back. Yeah, we've got to go back. And... Up into the mansion. We actually need to go all the way around now. Yeah. Okay. And go back into the painting room. Now, you remember that double locked gate that we have? We should. Right, let's see if we can stun him. There we go. Get fucked, pal. These, those guys in there are just not worth the ammo. They really aren't. I mean, we've got plenty of ammo, to be fair. So it's not really about the ammo. It's more to do with the fact that we don't want to take too many more hits. Because I'm not sure how much health we actually... Or how much armor... Well, no. Health would be more correct that we're actually going to need. We need the Angel Medallion. Which... We can scoop up a You know what? We're here. We're going to grab the angel medallion. And we can pack our bits up into the item box whilst we're here. There's so many components in this game. Ooh, there's a dog crying. Yumi? Is that you? It's locked. There's a dog crying on the other side. How curious. Well, no time for tears. Now let's drop you back. Um, we do need our angel medallion. Well, let's drop these two items off. It's just so we can pull all of this stuff back. And then drop you in. Right. Let's take our angel medallion. Do we need the wire cutters? I think we do. Well, there will be an opportunity to get that in a minute. Okay, let's go. Now, with wire cutters in hand, we can go back down. Well, we don't have those, but we will. We will. Now, we've got a fight with that weird... Um, nemesis creature coming up again it's optional but I want to take him down so if I can save some shotgun shells I'm going to because it's it's like he gets stronger each time almost at least that's the way it feels or maybe I just forget how many shotgun shells he does actually in take to bring down a lot by the way it, yeah it's it's a lot <laughs> it's so many shotgun shells we do have the key. I, f <laughs> I thought for a moment I had gone full retard and forgot the key. There we go. Let's grab this. Wonderbar. So we have the lion's head. Curious. We have some shotgun shells. That takes us up to 27. Plus five, so 33 shotgun shells. Good enough. The Divine Fires. Lord Alfred has instructed me to unlock the gate leading to the swamp. A very important barrier he has enchanted with a special magic lock. I've been trying all day to unlock it. A series of fires must be lit in order for the lever activate. In order for the lever activate. Surely a series of fires must be lit in order for the lever activated. Should be for the lever to be activated or something. Uh, each of the six ceremonial fires has a name, which I now figured out after trial and error. Now I just need to know in what combination they need to be lit. So far I've tried ten different sequences. 
The next one I will do uh, is that. Yeah, that it tells you the sequence there. If that doesn't work, I'm giving up and trying again tomorrow. Only Lord Alfred knows the combination, but he is off in the catacombs and does not want to be disturbed from his work. Once that is done, he requires a sacrifice in order for the lever to even be pulled to open the door. I wonder which of the cultists will be used for the task. I wonder if it's that um, Ezra, whatever she was called, that went missing. I wonder. Anyway, we've got a lever here. Which we can give a good old healthy tug on that. And open the gate. Now. This is kind of... A bit of an issue here. This is where... I think we should have... Uh, right, okay. Yeah, so we were shooting... from that portal. Which, in theory, should spawn the guys that we need to fight. Just through this gate here. Okay. There they are. Oh, he's not dead. Curious. Oh, that might have been the other one. Didn't there we go? Right, they're actually here this time. Good stuff. Handgun magazine, sure. And there is the evil medallion. Excellent. Just what we needed. Right, let's go refill our water canteen. See if there's any other goodies around here that we left. Rather curious indeed. So that just leads there, but that door is locked. Ah. Looks like something round can be placed here, but I don't think it's that. No. It's locked. Okay. How weird was it that these guys didn't spawn last time? Huh. I have no idea what that's about. Anyway. One second, guys. So, I'm sort of getting ahead of myself here. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> the lion head. The lion head. That's what we've still got in us. Well, we know where the lion head goes because we did that earlier. So, we need to go stick this happy little fella on this side. Something can be placed here. And that shall reward us with another key. Wonderbar. Now, the red sapphire key. Very nice. So, let's start going back. Or at least, in a way, I suppose, we're going to be going forwards. Because it is uncharted territory. Now, I don't know why the volume keeps moving. Now, what do we have? So, these are the fires. I think we actually need the uh, lighter for these. And this is the door up yonder that will open. Now, that looks grisly, doesn't it? It says here, only when the divine fires have been lit shall we be set free. Uh oh. Door is locked, but I can't see the mechanism. Maybe some kind of magical force is keeping it closed. There you go. 
You're learning. We like that. Another very long, windy garden path. That stock creepy sort of creaking ambient wood sound is uh, <laughs> kind of getting to me a little bit. It's, it's a little bit overplayed, I think. So, we have ourselves the red emerald key. However, we need to get back outside. So, I think the next point of call... Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's the basement. Oh, interesting. Yeah, the basement B1 floor still has a locked door. And we now have used up all of our keys. Um, I'm trying to think what the best... Oh, how much health have we got? We've got a decent amount of health, I suppose. Uh, hmm. Do we want to risk it for a biscuit? You know what? Sure, let's risk it for a biscuit. So. Stick the angel medallion in. And let's go. Let's go dance with the devil. Now this place should have mostly been cleared out. All right. Oh, I don't have the knife on me, do I? Well, that's okay. That is okay. To be fair, we have such an abundance of handgun ammo. Oh, the game's just saved. So that's actually not too bad. Oh. Don't mind if I do. No. Pretty sure we can get in here. Right, so we've got some more shotgun shells. Very nice. Well, you know what, guys? Considering... Considering the game has furnished us with a save disc and a save place, I think I'm going to drop a save here. And we'll carry on in the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.